Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Lockman Diggers. Well, in this episode, uh, we're going to be naming the chickens this, this week. Now, you know we've already named one, um, Emma. That's the, the, the Rhode Island Red, um, with, with the red band on her foot. And um, since uh, looking at the um, all the different names that's been put forward, there's one that stands out above all the others. And um, it's um, Udina, and uh, referring to the little Nova Brown with the yellow band on her foot, who keeps escaping from the coop, from the pen. She's even started to undo the bloody bolts on the door. You think I'm kidding, don't you? Well, check this out. She's up to no good there, Udina. She's undoing the bloody do the bolts on the door there. She's literally, she's took one off. Look what she's doing there. She's actually took, I hope she hasn't swallowed it. <laughs> actually screwing the body, unscrewing the, um, the nuts off the door. If you look closely there, I don't know if you can see. She's actually been, she's took the body. Oh, it's not very, fo it's not focusing properly. It's a bit annoying. A bit too dark to focus. But she's literally took the bloody, um, the bolt off the door. If you go and go to bed now, it's getting that time. Starting to move into bed, that's why we're, we're all having a drink, feed her and a drink over her. Won't be long before they all disappear and I can go home. Yeah, I don't know what she's done with the bolt, but she's managed to get it off. I've got another bolt there, so I'll be putting it back on in its place. Unbelievable, this chicken. It gets up to all sorts of um, daft tricks. But yeah, Udina, that, so that's another one. So we've only got 10 more to name. So what I've decided to do now is to put all them names what you give, I'm gonna put them in the generator, and the first 10 out is what we're gonna call the girls. So I'm gonna quickly um, call them out now, obviously, I'm gonna to have to nip home. Um, but for all intents and purposes, all I have to do is um, Pick the ten names out. So here they come. I'm just um, picking these um, chickens' names here, and uh, well, we've got a pile of them. These are all the names people have uh, suggested. We need ten. We've already named two. Um, one of them's called Emma. She's a Rhode Island bred with a red band, and everyone seems to think I should call a little Nova Brown with a yellow band, um, Udini. So we need ten more, and here they come. So Katie and Chickie's number two, Dorothy's number three, Trix is number four. Now some of these names might um, repeat, so we just have to keep going until we got ten. Layla five, Lucy Ball six, Zoe seven, Lady Lydia eight, Happy Feet nine, and Lady Grace ten. So we got all ten other. Um, names for the chickens so, now. So, um, what I'm going to do now is put names, faces to them names, and um, these are the 12 birds with the names. Now, I'm going to put a, a little clip with all the little, with all the, the birds with the band, so you can see who's who and the names. So here they are, and this is what we've called it, each individual bird. So that's it, that's a um, job well done. Thanks everybody for leaving you your comments. Um, the, the reason why we've named them is, you know, hopefully the, you, know, you, you don't just go, hey chicken, get out of the way. You want to say, come on, you know, you want to name them really. Plus, the reason why they've got bands on the feet is uh, to identify them. Say one becomes ill and she runs into a flock of them. You don't know which one it is, do you really? But have you? If you clock the band, what's on a foot, well, you find her every single time, won't you? So that's why we put bands on all the feet. Anyhow, 
you would have thought that was the end of the story but um, a few weeks earlier uh, I was looking on eBay looking at uh, fertilized eggs and just out of curiosity I was clicking away and um, I clicked on this um, this link which um, actually I made a bid by mistake and um, anyway it was 20 minutes to go there was no way I could cancel it so the next thing I know I've I've won the comp I've won the um, the the eggs. Um, sent the sent the money off. Uh, I think I waited about three four days for the eggs to arrive. And um, they arrived in these uh, these polystyrene trays. I'll show you the trays now. But obviously we took the eggs out of them. So these are the things that they come. Uh, curtains that the eggs come in. And. Uh go one on top of the other, the eggs are wrapped in tissues and then this is all wrapped up in um, in paper, there's the other one, that's where I got 12 eggs, so you know, there we go, that's it, that's what, that's what they come wrapped up in, in the protection, and to stop them getting broke, fairly cool actually, I think we can use these for something else, um, um, they're not as good as they say they are because uh, I did have one egg which uh, had a crack in it we only noticed that a bit later on when it was rolling the eggs about however that's what they come in so you're probably wondering well they got to go in an incubator well I got I was very fortunate with the incubator um, about four or five maybe maybe six months ago I acquired the uh, 15 quid. I saw it underneath the table and I uh, said, What is that, mate? So it's an incubator. Do you want it? 25 quid. Oh, no, no, no. So there's no way to test it. I just don't want to get stung for 25 quid. So I give you the best I can do is 15 quid. Anyway, he said, Okay, give me the 15. Uh, I put, put the incubator in the loft and forgot about it. But then again, that then. It come in handy for these eggs anyway. Um, this is the incubator with the eggs. Hi in. guys, this is my selection of um, 12 eggs. There's all different types of birds in here. And um, yeah, we've just got them all there. They've got the little incubator going. Yeah, we've just added some water. There's a little tray here, there's a water. And this, you just pull it. once every couple of hours or every six hours it's not automatic and it just rolls the eggs to stop them sticking in the bottom and uh, yeah there we go we're just going to leave that there and uh, hopefully in 21 days we're going to have some chicks so let's uh, we'll keep an eye on it and tell you what happens Very okay shortly. so moving on to about 16 days Mrs. A tweeting coming from the kitchen that's where the incubator is so he goes in the kitchen and blow me there's a little bird inside there a little um, chick inside the um, the incubator we left it in for 24 hours hoping it would um, encourage more more of the babies to, um, to to actually hatch unfortunately nothing's hatched in the last 24 hours um, only this particular bird and um, well, here it is now in the incubator, so I'm going to quickly show you that. There's a baby chick. Mm -hmm. We're putting him into his new home in a bit. The first one. <laughs> I've no idea what type it is. But it's the first one to watch. Looks quite happy, looks okay. We'll have a look at him again in a bit when he when he starts to get all his when he starts to puff out of it. So it caught me by surprise because it's normally 21, 21 and onwards up to about twenty four days when they hatch. So it was only about seventeen or something daft like that. So I didn't have a brood already. So um, in that twenty four hours that the baby was in the um, incubator, I was running around like an egg, 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 eggless chicken. Try to get um, this um, 
this brooder up and running. Anyway, this is the brooder now, which we've um, we've actually done. Okay, so this is uh, my homemade uh, brooder. Water, food, lamp, big lamp. I've got it sort of fixed in here like this. You're gonna have to do for the time being. Come along here. Have a look in there. And uh, we've got a baby. He's getting all we just got to leave her in there for the time being or him in there until he gets all his fluff and he'll be encouraging all the other little babies to crack open their eggs and uh, we'll put them in the brooder in uh well some other at the moment we're leaving him where they are she where, where, where they are and uh Do no harm where they are. But, uh, <laughs> first baby. As you see, it's got a light. It's got holes in the thing for them, you know, so they don't suffocate the uh, the chick. Sawdust water. Fine, finely ground up um, feed. And um, well, this is the, the the baby now. It's about two days nice. old. So far. Um, I've only got one little chick out of 12 eggs and it's a bit sad really because um, I don't think I'm going to get many more um, might get one or two if I'm lucky but this little character's uh, found his legs now and he's running around um, I've you know picked him up to stroke him so he's not you know he's got a bit of contact he's got an heat lamp there he's got food water um, He's preening himself there. He's uh, still a bit cagey on his feet, but he can run. Well, there you go. <laughs> He's a uh, day and a half old, coming up to two days old now. And, uh, well, he's doing fine. I don't know what he is, what variety of bird he is. Um, didn't have anything on the eggs, unfortunately. Um, maybe someone, one of my YouTube subscribers, could identify him. I'll put a list of all the potential birds that he could have been. Or she could be, I don't know whether it's an he or she, to be quite honest with you. Um, I've been looking inside the... The incubator, I've got a light lamp, lamp in, um, a couple of eggs there, there's a, there's a few I don't think it's going to do anything, but um, there's probably one or two that might hatch in the next day or two, and then he's going to have s someone to keep him occupied hopefully, but this is the brooder that I've made, there's the heat lamp, he's got water, food over there, all very fine. He's been eating, he's drinking, he's tweeting away, and um, yeah, he's uh, he seems to be okay. This light stays on all night, and he just sort of crashes down there. I've had my hand in him, you know, picking him up and stroking him, and he's, you know, he seems okay. But um, I just hope that I get a couple more chicks just to keep him, uh, uh, him or her company, you know what I mean? Right, so if anyone knows what he is or she is, right, leave, leave details in the uh, right up below. He's, uh, he's all on his own and he's snuggling up in the corner. So it's found its legs, it's running up and down the kitchen, every time I walk in it, it follows me, every time I walk back it follows me, um, I've picked it up and put it in my hands, it, it sort of perches on my fingers, it's, um, it's a lovely little bird but I've got no idea what it is because the clown who um, sent me the eggs only, only wrote on the eggs, on two of the eggs what they were, like left uh, initials what they were, and all the others they want a single mark on the eggs. So I'm going to put the list of all the eggs, what they said they were in the, um, the packet and I'm hoping you guys might be able to work out what the chick is out of all the birds. It was the small, one of the smallest eggs, 
So the smallest egg what you see in the incubator, this was the baby, what was it was born out of one of them eggs. So you got the idea, it's not the big eggs, it's a small egg that it would come out of. And um, well here's the list, it's coming out the side of me now. So they're all the birds which um, was on offer. And would you believe it, I only paid two quid for them. Um, it takes two quid, that's what, I think it was pound ninety-eight or something like that. Hang on, let me show you what it was, I forget what it is. This is what it was. So there you go. So I'm hoping we're going to get a few more um, match over the next day or two, fingers crossed. I really could do with a light to shine into them to see if any of them are ready for action. Um, I haven't got a, uh, a lamp, well, I think they call lamping when they do it. Yeah, they put a, a very bright light in the dark and then you can see the, the egg and everything. It looks like there's life in one. Others, not so much, but the darker ones I can't tell because the light's not bright enough, guys. So, um, I'll keep you updated on that whether we get any more babies. But, um, as you can see there, Wellard is running up and down in his in, in the box. Whether it's an he or a she, I think we're going to keep him in the back garden. So, I'll be making a coop for it shortly. And uh, obviously, I'm going to have to get a couple more chicks because they don't do well on their own. They like to be in freeze, that's the minimum. So who knows, might even go and buy a few more eggs. I've seen another one there on offer, I think there's uh, 30 eggs for about three quid. So um, I might bid for them. They're another assortment of um, eggs. So uh, yeah, I, anyway, I'll keep you posted on that. I just thought I'd share that little, um, that video with you of the, yeah, what a, what a bloody mistake I made, eh? But there you go, so easy, so easy to do. Um, in the next one, we're going to be giving you the tour of the plot. We've been doing a lot around the plot, been doing all the hanging baskets and what have you, re renewing them all. Um, the the outs the the liners and what have you. Um, we've got a lot of planting to do. I, I've got a hell of a lot in that greenhouse what needs to come out. I need to get my tomatoes sorted out. It's uh, it's hands on. I've I've just got me um me my runner beans out now. Uh, got some fleas round them. I'll show you that in the next episode. I've still got all the brassicas to get out yet and all the um all the um, um sweet corn. It's uh it's one of them. We've got so much to do, so little time to do it in. Um, but yeah, that's the next one. There'll be a tour of the plot, and uh, we're showing you me putting the, the the runner beans in and what have you, doing a little bit of potting on, and well, we'll wait and see. And I'll give you an update on the uh, the babies as well. But then again, um, you never know. We might get just the one egg. It's, it's all pie in the sky at the moment, and just waiting with fingers crossed to get a few more chicks. So I'll be seeing you, and thanks for watching. Leave a comment below. Um, if you do know what the bird is, uh, it'd be gr really helpful because I've got no idea. Uh, you would have thought they would have wrote on all the eggs what they were, but no, the guy who's done them, he's done a real um, poor job of it. Okay, be seeing you guys. Bye for now.